looking at the brains of pandas and pan's children, how peripheral infection triggers brain inflammation. This animation will show you some of the new research conducted by several research labs related to the diagnosis and treatment of pandas and pans, which was made possible by the generous donations of pandas network families. This science shows the imperative of early diagnosis and treatment for this complex patient population in order to prevent progressive brain damage. Pediatric autoimmune neuropsychiatric disorders associated with streptococcal infection, or PANDAS, and pediatric acute onset neuropsychiatric syndrome, or PANS, are a group of related autoimmune or autoinflammatory disorders that affect the central nervous system, or CNS. These disorders are triggered by infections, either bacterial, viral, or fungal. They occur when the body's immune system inappropriately attacks healthy brain tissue, triggering neurological and or psychiatric symptoms. Post-infectious responses in pandas and pans primarily affect a region of the brain known as the basal ganglia. The basal ganglia are a group of interconnected structures within the brain that are associated with regulating functions such as motor movement, cognitive and emotional response, and procedural learning. As a consequence, pandas and pans are characterized primarily by an abrupt onset of abnormal movement and or psychiatric symptoms. How do peripheral bacterial or viral infections cause brain inflammation? Repeated exposure to an infectious agent such as group A streptococcus or group A strep or viruses like COVID-19 cause the body to launch an immune response against the infectious agent. The body produces antibodies to fight the invading infection. However, in certain patients, this immune response leads to the production of abnormal antibodies, known as autoantibodies, which attack the host's own healthy brain cells. How these autoantibodies enter the brain is not well understood. However, recent research in both mice and pandas children may provide an answer. In the mouse disease model for pandas and pans, repeated group A strep infections of the mucous membrane in the upper nasal cavity lead to the production and accumulation of Th17 and Th1 lymphocytes in the surrounding tissue. Th17 and Th1 lymphocytes are pro-inflammatory immune cells that are generated to fight the bacterial infection. However, in many autoimmune diseases, these cells may cause a misdirected immune response that targets the host's own healthy cells. Research studies in mice suggest that Th17 lymphocytes may travel along the nerves that sense smells, called olfactory nerves, from the nose to the brain. Once in the brain, Th17 cells release inflammatory cytokines that are important for immune cell communication. These cytokines also stimulate specialized immune cells of the CNS called microglia, which release their own inflammatory cytokines. In addition to microglial activation, Th17 lymphocytes release two pro-inflammatory cytokines called IL-17A and GM-CSF, which trigger the breakdown of the blood-brain barrier, or BBB. The BBB is a highly selective semi-permeable boundary of specialized cells, known as endothelial cells, that line the blood vessels of the brain and prevent molecules in the circulating blood from indiscriminately entering the brain. These inflammatory cytokines cause the BBB to break down in two ways. First, they damage the tight junction, or TJ proteins, of the endothelial cells. TJ proteins join the endothelial cells of the BBB to one another and prevent the transport of molecules from the blood to the brain. The second way in which the cytokines break down the BBB is by increasing transcytosis, or the transport of molecules within endothelial cells and into the brain. How is this relevant to pandas and pans? The damage to tight junctions and the increase in endothelial transcytosis allows potential autoantibodies circulating in the blood to enter the brain where they can cause further damage. 
Recent work from Yale University with pandas and pans children has shown that once these autoantibodies cross the BBB, they attack a group of neurons in the basal ganglia called cholinergic interneurons that are important for movement and mood. In addition, work from the University of Oklahoma has suggested these antibodies interact with dopamine receptors in the basal ganglia, triggering their abnormal activation and causing mood and movement disorders. Recent studies in the mouse model have further demonstrated that blocking IL-17A function does not prevent the entry of Th17 lymphocytes into the brain. However, this treatment is very effective in blocking the activation of microglia and preventing blood-brain barrier damage, improving disease outcomes. Therefore, therapies that target IL-17A may prove beneficial in children suffering from pandas and pans. Human studies have identified that a set of pro-inflammatory cytokines are highly elevated in pandas and pans children at the acute phase of the disease. Additionally, these pro-inflammatory cytokines are able to break down the BBB in research experiments. This implies that they may potentially trigger BBB breakdown in patients. This is the first study that has identified Th17 lymphocytes and cytokines IL-17A and GM-CSF as major players in causing the breakdown of the BBB after repeated group A strep infections in mice. Additional studies are currently underway to examine the role of Th17 cells or other immune cells in humans suffering from pandas and pans. In order to improve the diagnosis of these CNS disorders, it is imperative to develop biomarkers that can be used to test for the disease. These tests can range from analysis of cerebrospinal fluid, blood tests for inflammatory cytokines, and using dynamic contrast-enhanced MRI imaging tools to detect BBB breakdown during flare-ups of the disease. Existing therapies that target IL-17A have already been developed and are being used to treat certain autoimmune diseases. These therapies may prove beneficial in children suffering from pandas and pans. The findings from the mouse studies indicate that there is previously undiscovered communication between the CNS and adaptive cellular immunity to infections. This may help lead to understanding how many other CNS autoimmune disorders develop, such as Sydenham's chorea, a disease related to pandas and pans, multiple sclerosis, NMDAR encephalitis, and long COVID. Additionally, these findings support the need for early identification of pandas and pans cases and the critical role of immune modulating therapies in treating these disorders. Thank you for watching. We hope this has shed light on the mechanisms in a difficult CNS disease. Groundbreaking research and treatment protocols will continue to be published. Please stay tuned for the latest developments.